Hello everybody and welcome on board this lovely Moody 35 for a look around her cockpit and her interior to give you an idea of where things are, her layout and what goes with her etc. So as you can see we're in the cockpit, now we have a, a midships cockpit on this boat so we have a cabin behind us, the aft cabin and the accommodation forward. We've got nice high bulwarks here so we're feeling nice and safe and snuggled inside the cockpit. Not withstanding the, the cockpit tent that's over us as well so as you can see we've got a really lovely tall cockpit tent extends all the way down to the back of the cockpit there lovely great big windows and it does look at a, a really really very very nice strong material that i don't think i've seen before so uh, looks recent looks great looks like it will stand the test of time and it gives us that extra space out here in the weather as well absolutely fantastic now we we can't see the wheel here but we do have a wheel steering underneath this cover this cover is made from the same stuff as the uh, the spray hood and the cockpit tent underneath there there's an individual actual wheel cover as well and uh, beneath there we've got a really nice array just behind here of lovely recent Ray, Ray Marine instruments and a nice big flat screen in the middle. So really great for the cockpit to see. We've got good visibility forwards, etc. So a really fantastic place to sail a boat from. Absolutely lovely. You can see we've got to, we've got teak uh, line seating all the way around this U-shaped seating. Just to show you here is the old the old cockpit cover that's there for reference uh, use only. If you want it, it's yours along with the boat. Um, and as you can see, we've got a companionway on the port hand side here. So we've got a nice zipped zipped opening here one on the starboard and one at the back as well and that gives you a really nice easy access from the side deck over into the cockpit past one or two lovely self tailing winches up here for your sheets very nice indeed if i just move along a little bit i'll sit on the side here we can see we've got nice deep seats here. We've got the engine start, stop and instrumentation over on the right hand side there. Looks like a VHS speaker too and one or two power supplies. And uh, we can see uh, to, on the port aft quarter there, I didn't notice that before, we have uh, looks like a, a sheet guy or a sheet, a sheet um, uh, sorry, let's start again, a spinnaker guy or sheet winch there, self-tailed as well, and another cleat there. So lots of cleats on this boat, very nice and easy to berth. We have a, a bilge pump, facility down there somewhere to hook on etc but feeling like a really nice and safe space to be i've just noticed as well we have nice cup holders or knife holders etc in the side of the the uh, spray hood there very nice indeed now here's the companion way down it is nice and wide nice and deep i'm using the word nice here a lot aren't i that's because i think it's uh, the, the most appropriate word we have uh, very good handles either side very moody-esque to get in and out of the companion way or the accommodation down below and you can see we've got winches here for your halyard the starboard one only is braked and we have port and starboard brakes there as well for uh, sorry self-tailing winch here and we have the port and starboard winches uh brakes there to uh, allow us to control our sails from the cockpit so much less traffic forwards in the in the wind and the rain etc a nice array of uh, further navigation instruments above you as you go down into the companionway or through the companionway into the main accommodation so let's take a look shall we if I just uh, duck down and have a look here before we go down, you can see what a very nice, I call it moody-esque, it, it just is. It's a lot of lovely proper wood, lots of uh, nice upholstery, feels great, all the locker catches are strong and solid, etc., and snap into place. But uh, you can be the judge of that. But as you can see, we've got a nice big, uh, a nice big accommodation down here, seating to the left, seating to the right, and a nice lovely big table in the middle. Let's go down and have a closer look. So there we go, quite a steep ladder down, a few steps down, because you'd big boat when we're going down inside there's the companion way we came down there and obviously behind that nestles the engine all that sort of stuff which we'll have a look in one moment and uh, what we'll do is we'll just do the forward accommodation first and then we'll wait work our way aft so you can see we're in the saloon here lovely l-shaped seating here storage below apologies i'll take that back we've got nicer they must be uh, replacement tanks in there they they look like they're nylon and they are tech tanks in there port and starboard so tech tanks under here and here uh, assuming for your fresh water but we have storage behind the seating port and starboard as well and uh, either forwards and uh, aft of them we've got a nice deep lockers in there as well we've got some fiddle shelving here too another nice deep locker very nice indeed we have curtains all the way around and we've got uh, lots of good windows uh, there's an opener down there that needs replacing at some point it's crazy a little bit i think the heads one might have as well but that's small fry really the headlining looks good too we've got stereo speakers inset we've got the uh, looks like the original moody lights there too and if we look down at the saloon table we can see um two leaves have folded down we've got uh, an extinguisher there we've got somewhere for our bottles of wine etc in there but these tables 
this table does open up very, very wide. That's one leaf up there and the other one opens up and is exactly the same, I think. So we've got seating for several people or quite a few people around that table for lunch or dinner after that hard day's sale. 240 volt sockets around the boat as well. We've got the classic uh, floor that we like to see as well. All in all, feeling really, really rather nice. And uh, you can see the, the, uh, the upholstery looks fantastic too. Woodwork looks great. Clock and barometer forwards. We've got a hatch here and a hatch in the four four peak cabin both to let light and ventilation in both with uh, blinds on as well so that's all very nice if we want to black it out a little bit if we're sleeping down there very good and if i just move forwards into the forward cabin you can see now while we're uh, slightly congested with the sails it's good to show you those there are photos of those elsewhere in the advert but uh, a good suite of sails on this boat and they're all kept down here out of the rain out of the wind out of the sun etc so that should be good for someone nice uh, largest looking berth here we've got uh, an infill here so we can take it away and make our changing lobby here even bigger if we want to but as i mentioned we've got a, a hatch there with the uh, closing blinds as well and we've got port and starboard these uh, stowages here again very moody-esque and everywhere we can think of putting a locker we've put a locker so we're uh, lovely great big hanging hanging locker there you know if you turn around to the port side you can see more stories there uh, another hanging locker i should say with shelves in there and a uh, shelf here a drawer and another cupboard underneath there too for your shoes etc etc really rather nice and plenty of room too there's a view from the forward cabin cabin looking after you can see we've got the compression post coming through there as well so it, we're looking like a, a deck stepped mast and uh, here's the seating on the port side so i'd say that's long enough for somebody to sleep on as is the seating on the port side slava side sorry just uh, nestling up on the forward bulkhead there we've got a flat screen tv and here we have another locker shelved out more fiddle shelves another bigger shelf this would probably be for your right or it is fiddled as well probably for your uh, your publications etc etc and uh, look what i've done i've left that the wrong way around but you can see we've got more instruments here we've got the electrics panel the main isolator tax contents and the stereo and the VHF and the bilge pump control there too. Really nice chart table. I like this. It's aft facing. Some may like that, some may not, but it doesn't really make a difference. But you can sit here. It means you're not using up space that it can only be nav, nav table space because this is sitting here. So this is a sideboard during the day. Could be anything you wanted. But uh, when you're at sea, that all goes away. This becomes a chart table and you can sit here and you can bark your orders up to the helm there, no problem. Or he can bark his orders down to you. So really good for, for communications there very good indeed right then let's move after the uh, chart table so a tiny bit of a squeeze past there that make brings us into the head compartment so as you can see we've got a four and aft head uh nice and uh, four and aft head compartment nice and long the headroom is pretty good it is a little bit more restricted towards the inboard side here but generally speaking um people will be sitting here or facing it i guess uh, we have a door at the uh well we have jack and jill access effectively access from the saloon and access from the after cabin there and with this door closed we've got the curtain rail which uh, will bring that curtain around and we've got a nice proper shower there with a seat inside there as well so if we're showering at sea we can sit down and make sure we're safe and we also have a shower screen here which will open up and allow or close off the uh, the toilet compartment and keep the water within the actual shower compartment itself really rather good we have a nice sink unit here a bit of work surface somewhere to put your soap etc and uh, we have some hello and we have some uh, covers behind there as well for all your bits and pieces the cruise uh, uh being and washing bits and pieces etc so really rather good and uh, very nicely set up and easy to use and as, as i said if you're in the ca after cabin you can use the loo without the people in the rest of the boat knowing and uh, if you're in the saloon you can use this the uh, the toilet area or the heads area without the uh, without bothering anybody in the after cabin best of both worlds so let's move around back into the saloon and uh, as you can see we've got uh, the forward part of the engine box here we've got looks like a little cockpit table snuggled down there uh, we have access to fuel valves on the top of the fuel tank there a bin compartment here and uh, we'll move around to look at the starboard side here so there we go so here's the galley and um, I really like this on this boat because it's uh, it's within easy reach of the companionway. So cups of tea, your, your uh, baked beans, etc., go backwards and forwards really nice and easily, just like communications with the uh, the chart table. But uh, it looks really ergonomic. The head height's really good. While you're standing here, you've got uh, windows in front of you, so you won't be too bored when you're cooking or washing up. And uh, you can see we've got a twin twin sink unit here, hot and cold running water behind here. Let's see what's in here. I haven't looked yet. I think that's probably just a cool box under there to be confirmed. But 
we have cupboards all the way along the outboard side there and uh, just inboard of that we've got a cooker here with a work surface that uh, uh, lifts up and slides down out of the way when you're cooking two ring burners there two burners there sorry and uh, that puts down and gives us a nice uh, bit more of a worktop there we've got uh, looks like we have a grill and an oven so uh, a good proper yachty gimbaled no doubt cooker there as well and you can see we've got something to hang on to here which is always good in the galley and uh, coming this way you can see we've got a proper big fridge little freeze uh, there's a freezer compartment here with a little freezer compartment just uh, nestling under there i think but uh, as you can see once it's all closed down if i can do it with one hand let's try there we go lovely big galley area and uh, good access down to the after cabin there although if you're going to the after cabin and someone's cooking here you'll be shuffling past so you do need to be aware that the, the bits and pieces may be cooking here etc more shelves and cupboards underneath more drawers and cupboards under there so really a rather nice and very comprehensive galley unit so here's the uh, the engine block or sorry the engine box as i mentioned before this would be the bin cupboard there we go there's a nice fresh bin bag in there which is great there's a heating control we've got the the five blankets etc and if i just come out of the way to give you a bit more light you can see we've got the engine compartment in here so lovely big engine engine feet look good we've got access to the gearbox we've got access to the coupling we've got access to the build we've got access to the uh the high pressure fuel pipe work etc just up here is a filter bowl and uh we've got the the coupling linkage here the controls linkage so all in all good access for maintenance by the looks of it so really good and if I, i'll show you in a moment there's another opening here and an opening within the heads compartment on the port side there to give you even better access very good so here is a uh, another cupboard here i'll just have a quick nose in if, if i can get it open with one finger there we can so this is a cupboard it's all shelved out very good you can see just how much stowage there is on this boat she's that kind of boat and uh, here is what i guess we'd call probably the PS de resistance of this yacht, we've got the aft cabin. Now it is a bit of a duck to get in, so let's have a little look to see how we are. So as we come toward from the companion way, then we've got the cockpit seating above us there. That does restrict our, our, our height here, so we can either duck down a little bit, as you may be able to see me in the in the mirror there, or we can just bring our heads to the side a little bit and make our way down. But then when we do go into the cabin, we're ducking in. But it's not a tunnel, it's just a bit of a um a bit of restricted headroom there. And then once we're in it all opens out again, full head height again. You can see we've got windows all over the place at the stern too. We've got a hat for light and ventilation with blinds again. You can see the uh, the cockpit seating above us. Here's the engine hatch I talked about. So if I can get this open with one, one hand, I can. There's the engine. So we're uh, sitting there in all her beauty and uh, ready to be maintained and fettled by somebody possibly like you. And if I just turn around... Here's the starboard side of the cabin. Looks really appealing, doesn't it? So we've got a nice seating unit here. We've got a, a heating outlet there, so we'll always, always be warm in here. And we've got a vanity unit on the starboard aft side, so we've got somewhere to put our bits and pieces in here. We've got drawers here. There we go. Nice mirror unit. On, on the other side of this is the uh, the lazarette locker, which you can see in a different video. So that's the size of the locker there. On the outboard side here, we've got more vanity space here. We've got some, some hanging bags there and we lined out as well which looks great and behind the main door here you can see we've got a nice big locker here which is shelved out very good indeed so we'll just close that hook it all back so we're secured for c and we've even got a fiddle shelf above that how's that so we've got two nice, three nice opening windows in here. I'm sitting on the seat reclining. There's a lovely great big bed. We have storage underneath it. It's nice and wide and nice and long. And I think that would do a couple very nice indeed. And there's a close-up of the upholstery. All looking good. Smells great, feels great feels dry what could be better just a quick look through the back door here here so uh, here's the uh oh before i do that let's see if you can open, close the door there and open this cupboard here just for the last look so there we go nice hanging locker in the aft cabin i'll just open that up again look at the thickness of this door crikey and uh if i just latch that back you can see there's the jack and jill access to the heads from the aft cabin so straight in through the shower to the toilet if that's what you want or if you just want a shortcut to the forward accommodation that's where you can go through too so this has been tim from boats drop brokers just taking you for a quick tour well quite a long tour around the interior of this really lovely moody 35 if you'd like any more information on it just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you will find lots more pictures videos and virtual reality thanks for watching and have a great day